this might be going on the radar, but right now you and I are going to talk about the Sealy Big Bass Splash and what the Texas Game Wardens did to seize over $100,000 worth of trailers, boats, and motors. This past weekend, the Sealy Big Bass Splash, the 40th annual on Sam Rayburn happened. It is the biggest amateur fishing tournament in Texas. And the game wardens were out there checking boats, motors, trailers, and other things to seize stolen equipment. So over a span of two days, the Texas Game Wardens inspected over 300 boats, 243 motors, and 100 trailers. They got people or game wardens from all over the state to come in and to check anglers as they came in and out of the Sealy Big Bash Splash because this was a perfect opportunity where there were a ton of boats and a ton of anglers to do what they called a saturation patrol. And because it's the biggest amateur bass fishing tournament, anglers came from all over. Thousands of anglers came from all over. And these game boards are able to get hands on and check boats and trailer numbers and VIN numbers and all those things so that they could hopefully find a bunch of stolen materials and then hopefully give it back. Now here's the specifics. When it was all said and done, the game wardens found, and I have to read it, $102,614 that included two boats and 10 motors. That was $27,000 in boats and $75,000 in motors. Now they made no arrests, but the investigations are still ongoing. And Texas has had a big issue with stolen equipment and boats and motors and all that stuff. In 2022 and 2023, it really increased and stolen boats in Texas. And the Texas game warden seized more than $2 million worth of stolen boats in 2022 and 2023 and that's stolen boats and other items. And the goal for the game wardens is to return that stolen motor boat equipment to its rightful owner. And that brings us to something that you need to think of. There is something, I try not to be really religious, but it's love thy neighbor. And while it's hard to at times, I will be the first to admit that. There's a lot of people I just don't love these days, but stealing from somebody is just another, it's just a bad thing. It hurts everybody. Not to mention, I there's been times, I had, I had the, the front, casting platform of my boat was stolen years ago and it irritated the living shit out of me because I thought who would steal this from me or who had the time to rip it off the front of my boat but I'm sure someone made a pretty penny off of it which then cost me money and other stuff but if you're buying something and the good deal is just too good to be true you probably need to look a little deeper because heaven forbid you should be on a tournament or just putting your boat in at the boat ramp and it get checked and then you're you might have an issue because you bought something that was stolen because it should should be and they should seize it and give it back to its rightful owner i don't mean a disrespect i know it costs you money at that point in time but these days because of facebook marketplace and other stuff it's really easy to sell stolen equipment and i'm not saying everybody that's on facebook marketplace is it's stolen because i've sold stuff on facebook marketplace and it wasn't stolen it was stuff that i wanted to get rid of but like i said if the deal's too good to be true or there isn't documentation to what you're purchasing maybe look into it a little deeper it's it's one thing to get a good deal and be happy about it it's another thing to just not care where it came from or how they that person got it because then you might have to deal with police or authorities later on because you might be dealing with something that's stolen so do yourself a favor if you're gonna buy something like that just make sure that it gets the right stuff it's just common sense truly really, it's a lot of common sense and these days sometimes when we're getting a great deal common sense gets thrown out there's a lot of times you just people just do what they want to do don't do the research i mean there's lots of people out here out there that don't do the research and if you're not doing the research and not looking into what you're purchasing especially if it's a big ticket item like a boat or a motor or electronics do the research do yourself a favor do the research ahead of time because heaven forbid you get caught with something that's stolen and then it gets taken away from you then it's just a waste of your money too so look into it so that's what happened this weekend up there in sam rayburn on the sealy big bash splash which is i hear is just an unbelievable tournament the largest biggest amateur fishing tournament in texas is that's huge but i give it up to the game wardens to go out there and doing the saturation patrol and getting people back their equipment or their motors or trailers or boats i respect that so there it is maybe now you know a little bit more and i'm sure we're going to see more and more of this as time goes on thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button make sure you comment below and tell me what you think remember take a good fishing get your fish on i'll talk to you very soon cheers